Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I am excited to be making this because it's signaling that we are close to the end of the game. <laughs> but it's not gonna come easy still because we have, believe it or not, another boss rush to do and this time with the main dungeons bosses see uh you know remember we got this song called the oath to order way 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 way, way back early on in the walkthrough and we didn't really have a use for it well now we do if we play it by the skull kid the giants will come and stop the moon from falling you know on the, the final day when you go up to the top of clock tower and whatnot but if you don't have all four giants there, they won't be able to stop the moon. Therefore, you need to resave all of them. All of them. <laughs> but anyway, just for the sake of speed here, I'm just gonna get 300 rupees out of this and fill up on arrows more than anything because uh, my uh, arrows here are completely empty after- why did I go over to that side? I don't know. My arrows are completely over to that s- it's at zero and I'd like to fill up on that so there we go and I'll also get some Chateau Romani somewhere along the line when it opens up. But for now I guess we should start with the re-boss defeating again. So I'm gonna go over to Woodfall, beat the funny dancer, beat the rampaging goats, beat the dumb fish, ten, and fast forward time so that you can go inside the bar and get yourself some Chateau Romani for 200 rupees. Bottoms up! Oh jeez, it's inside the bar. <laughs> Warp to the Stone Tower Temple and beat the twi- wait a second. This isn't the point that I beat them. Well, that's because I'm actually going to show myself reading beating them on camera. Because remember I said that I had an alternate strategy with the fire and ice arrows that I wanted to show? Well, I might as well show it as long as I am forcefully having to beat all the bosses all over again, so... Yeah, make sure that you're pretty well filled up on arrows and whatnot. I'll just kind of put up the fire arrows, because why not? And yeah, all you have to do is just flip the temple around by moving that block over on the far left. I mean, the switch... The block in the middle over, using the switch on the far left, excuse me. Then you go in here, and sure enough, it's glowing, as it usually is at all the boss giblet areas that are opened up once you beat the boss once, so you don't have to rebeat the temple, which is a nice time saver, I suppose. Yes, yes, for obvious reasons. I mean, could you imagine having to do the temples all over along with the bosses within the span of uh, the game's three days? Even with the song of double time, that would be... That'd be kind of nutters, especially with the potential freezing issue. Alright, so the red one's weak against ice arrows, blue one's weak against fire arrows. So let's take on Twin Mold, and we can hit either their head or their tail. I do... Oh, maybe it's just their tail. Hmm. 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 Well, anyway, let's just go for it. <laughs> uh, the other... Ah, uh, yeah, I was already off timing there, that's okay. Just stay, stay in the center, basically. And, uh, just, just watch for them, just wait for them to come around, just to watch where the tail is- Pfft, red one is blocking my tail view. Um, just wanna kinda get in the right angle for when the tail comes around- Ah, I missed! Oh, I missed! <laughs> uh, red one, not what I'm looking for, because I don't wanna switch my items, that's why I'm focusing on one at a time. Plus it- minimizes my chance of being hit by these monstrosities. They don't seem to like aim for you or anything like that, it's just that they... they're, they're very squirmy and they, they may or may not hit you. <laughs> so yeah, it's just, just a matter of getting... Uh, don't... getting in the right position and whatnot to defeat them with this strategy and it, it can take quite a while. And this is... There we go, I got a hit off there. It's definitely a good idea to have the Chateau Romani and just abuse the heck out of it. <laughs> because uh, even with the Giant's Mask, that'll suck up your magic for this boss fight as well. So very, very handy. And it doesn't take that many hits to uh, kill, off any, uh, kill off any of these with the fire and ice arrows. It's just a matter of actually hitting them. And that was the red one that I shot at, wasn't it? Oh well. 
this wasn't paying much attention and oh yeah there we go alright it's working it's working sort of <laughs> uh, where's the blue one Oh, <laughs> blue one blue I'm spinning in circles I'm not seeing it <laughs> oh wait there it is kinda uh, oh wait, oh, wait oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't have time to move, so I just I just watched it. Oh, I'm too close to it. Oh, poopers. Okay, fine. I'll let you go go around there. You're get, getting more aggressive here. Yeah, I think I confused the blue one with the red one because the red one has the blue belly, too. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Oh, there's the blue. Let's watch for the tail. Oh, I was late. I mean, I, excuse me. I was early there. Uh, why did I say late? I don't know. Uh, uh, hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Hello? Oh, oh, there you are. <laughs> okay, where's the tail? Where's the tail? It's coming, it's coming around now. Ah, poopers. Wait, this is a good, good chance, right? Dear! Oh, I even got a shot off, but I got nicked. I got nicked. <laughs> okay, that's more than just a nick, but it, it seems like a nick because I've got double health. <laughs> So yeah, obviously the Giant's Mask strategy is significantly faster than this, but uh, this is an option that you can do if you don't want to go through the uh, trouble of getting the potions and stuff like that. Um, besides the Chateau Armani, though, I suppose the Chateau solves all issues. Uh, okay, blue. Okay, blue. Oh, I got it. So that's three hits for... Whoa! Four hits! I got two hits in the same diving cycle that time. Well, I should say flying cycle that time, so I guess each one takes four hits. Wah! Victory! Now we switch arrows! <laughs> Go over to the ice arrows, and you won't have to switch arrows again. Alrighty, now where's the other one? Where is the other one? Up oh, there you are. Tail should be coming. Tail should be... Ah, oh, I was late! I seen it coming around quickly, but alas, alas, I failed. Ooh! <laughs> I'm glad I have unlimited magic because I'm just gonna chain shooting arrows here. Uh, mm, mm. It is possible to do this without the uh, chateau, but you know you've got to be quite the sharpshooter to pull it off. Uh, careful, careful! Oh, oh! I was gonna say careful, careful, shoot as soon as I seen the see the tail tip, but no, no, no. Didn't quite work. It's better when it's when it gives me a lot more time to actually see where the tail is coming out from. Uh, ah, like if, if it's in the air for a long period of time, I can just turn around to yeah, to, to to point at a certain part of its body and then just shoot when the tail is gonna come to that spot because the tail follows w whatever direction the body is going into. So you can always tell where the tail is going in that sense. But when it's this close, it's kind of. Kinda oh almost got lucky there. It's kinda kinda difficult to pull it off. <laughs> and if I run out of arrows or anything like that, it's it's not not a big deal or anything, as I could just finish this with the giant's mask. But it's just a thing out that I'd like to try and do it with the uh, arrow method free eye at least once. Oh man. Oh man. Ah <laughs> And it it takes a while, but it's most certainly doable, as you can see, I has already got one down. And by all already, I mean this fight would have been done already if I would have just put on the giant's mask. Ah <laughs> uh, oh, man, it went down. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, this is a good angle right here. Here we go, here we go. Right about there. Ah, oh, I lost my opportunity! That's just a total, total shame. Uh, I'm gonna aim right about here, actually. Ah! <laughs> Don't worry about the clock or anything like that. I don't think it's going to take you um, a, a full three-day cycle, even without the Song of Double... I mean, the uh, Song of Inverted Time, excuse me, to defeat all the bosses. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a train coming at me. I just can't look away. <laughs> yeah, but really, I, I just can't get out of the way in time while I'm in this first-person view anyway, so I just, I just take the hit. Okay, tail. Okay, tail. Yeah, there we go. That's how it should be done. Uh-oh. Okay, baby. Oh, it's going down the road that way. Okay. Can I get lucky? Can I get lucky? Ah! Oh, I couldn't get lucky. 
I'm, I'm trying to sort of kind of feel out the speed of its segments to try and pinpoint where the tail is when I'm reacting to something that's actually too fast to react to. Um, just by, there we go, just by um, trying to get myself into some sort of rhythm with the boss to feel out its its point of where the tail is. But alright, I beat it. <laughs> Again, with a different strategy. Woo! Oh! 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 Yeah! <laughs> alright, let's get out of here. I said, let's get out of here. There we go. It wasn't fully loaded, I guess. <laughs> let's fill up on those arrows again. Fast forward time until Clock Tower opens. Well, as far as you can, at least. Clock Tower has opened. Well, it's going to be opening. And I started a new recording to make sure that I'd have enough time on the video file and whatnot. So that is okay. Now we're all set to go. But now that this is open and we got all four bosses beat, I will save. <laughs> I will save, please, for the love of RCS, and copy that I will save. You will not regret it, because if the game freezes, or you should fail on the final boss type areas and whatnot, well, you gotta do it all over again, so let's not do that. Let's, let's just make it so that we don't have to do all the bosses again, okay? Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead here, erase my uh, backup file, which is really the same file, only with the without with no owl save. Copy it over. There we go. I'm not at full health or anything like that, but I'm not too concerned as I'll be able to get health where we're going, and, uh, yeah, uh, it just froze, well, <laughs> I hope that didn't ruin my save, but we'll see, we were doing so well, so well, well, actually, the biggest streak was back before the first freeze at Zora Domain, so after that, it just all went to pot. Well, we're about to see... Okay, so what do we have here? Final day one, final day one... So it did copy over? Why did it... I mean, it froze at the time that it said you're not supposed to turn off the power. So just in case, I'm gonna erase number two again. And, uh, copy over one. Over to two. And, uh... Hope that it, uh, doesn't freeze again here. <laughs> I'm not even sure why he did that, because I wasn't even in the middle of the game game type portion there. So it's just like it just, just decided to... Okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> I better not freeze here, though. So I'll have to copy two over to one, then. All right. I'm glad it froze when it did, because that would have sucked. Now... What we can do here is, rather than do the Moon Tier quest, we can go around the Clock Tower. See this little ramp here? Look at that, we're up here. <laughs> we don't even need the, the Moon Tier or anything like that, we can just go right on in. I've seen a speedrunner skip that by doing some sort of backflip maneuver with the um, uh, Deku. Like, early on in the game, to skip the whole side quest and just skip the head with the Scarecrow and, and whatnot. Uh, but, well, I, I'm not sure how that's done. <laughs> so, yeah, we I, I got all four. It's, it's saved in the owl. <laughs> not the cloud, the owl. <clears throat> that's it. I won't let things go the way you expect them to. Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> Just look above you. I've got a moon, and I know how to use it! <laughs> if it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it! Oh, and by the way, this is actually my, uh, third recording. <laughs> because whenever the game freezes, I have to actually turn off the system completely. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Oath to order this time, rather than the Song of Time. Because we freed all four giants, all of them, and now he's gonna be like, "Oh, jeez, it's getting real." 
It's like, ah, oh, they won't be able to stop me. Oh, but they're coming. I'm scared. You hear him? This is the end. <laughs> Yeah, feel the pain. Feel the pain that I've went through trying to beat this game 100%. <laughs> Alright, so here they come. Well, here comes the moon. I, I guess, but it's it's not gonna fall, don't worry. We've we've done preparations. <laughs> that's uh that's quite the angle that they're putting on the, the, the giant there, you know. The, it's got that skirt, and we're looking up. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Let's just not even think about it. They're they're featureless models. It's just yes. <laughs> it's like the fairy at the fountain, <laughs> and that that foot just went right through that fountain. But what is this craziness? <laughs> yeah. So if you don't free all the giants, not all of them will come here, and they won't all have their combined strength to hold off the moon, basically, and then you're going to have to play the Song of Time with only a minute remaining after, uh, I guess you could say, your failed attempt, and then you could just reset time, and then you'd have to go and re-beat the bosses again. Because <laughs> you Song of Time, so let's, let's not bother with that. Let's just kind of do this here and take care of this game once and for all. <laughs> Alright, guys, you can do it. I believe in you. There's four of you and two of them. Well, there's one Skull Kid, one Mask, and a Moon. So I guess there's technically three, but, well. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh! Oh! It's orgasmic! <laughs> Alright, the moon has been stopped. Oh god, that angle. <laughs> it... it stopped. We did it. It stopped. Sis! <laughs> Excitement! T tail! <sighs> Good, we made it in time. The giant's call worked on the skull kid. Hey, Skull Kid, do you realize what you've been doing to everyone? Probably not. Wait, sis, don't don't be so hard on the Skull Kid. But, Tail, why are you protecting him? Aren't you mad at him for hitting you so much? He was lonely, the Skull Kid. He was trying to destroy everything around him. That's not the same as a lonely child. We can't allow that. The power of the mask inside made him do it. It was too much for the Skull Kid to handle. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, who the heck would destroy the world? Actually, a Skull Kid wouldn't be able to destroy the world without the mask, so... <laughs> it's because he doesn't know his place! Top for having a weak and no strength of heart, he's a fool! What? Suddenly, he had far too many weaknesses to use my power. Wait, what? Wait, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that's right. I bet your stupidity. Huh? Um, where'd that voice come from? Oh, oh, oh. The mask is attached to a limp body. A Papa Gat can no longer be used as mere garbage. This puppet's role has just ended. Uh-oh. It can't be. Then that moon. Mm, boy. Oh, boy. Here's the real deal end game shenanigan. Oh, oh, oh no. I shall. Consume, consume, consume everything! No, Moon! No! You can't be bad! No! Ah, oh, this isn't good! Let's go back! Let's go back! Hurry! The Song of Time! The Song of Time! Hmm, um, well. Oh no, you've gotta be kidding! Don't tell me you're going up there! I won't do it! You go by yourself! I'm staying here with Tail! But... I'll go! What? What do you say, Tail? Is something wrong with you? Uh, I don't always want to be running away. If only I had been stronger, the Skull Kid wouldn't have... 
Hmm? Hmm? I understand. I'll go. All this time, Tal. I've gotten really stubborn. Just like someone else I know. <laughs> you know, you guys are really stupid. <laughs> Alright. We're going! You're going! Hmm? Hmm? Ooh. Huh? 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 Yeah, we are inside the moon, and it's got that slightly dizzying effect. So this is apparently what's inside the moon. Yes, I I believe that with every fiber of my being. Yes, it's not rock or something like that. It's it's a paradise of sorts, and you got butterflies. You got a beautiful tree meadow. There's Jorah's mask. Here is. Old Dalwa? Hey, how's it going there? What? Where are you not? You're not Old Dalwa. What is this? I, you fooled me with that mask. Ah, nice weather, isn't it? Masks. You have a lot. You too. Will you be a mask salesman? Uh, uh what? And I'll play with you. So, the masks. Give me some. Alright, I'll just, uh, go up over here and just kind of pop over and say these masks over here because we won't need them so here you go just pop that I don't remember how many he needs thanks you're a nice person aren't you hide and seek let's play all right I'll hide um you do that uh oh uh oh uh oh sub dungeon of the moon number one begin and we need the Deku <laughs> all right wait wait Hold on a sec. Um, I should probably have that just for that um, other stone over there, just for kicks. But yeah, let's just go over to that stone because why not? It's not, not going to take me long to do any of these uh, sort of, I guess you could say, sub dungeons here. So, uh huh. Uh, it seems Creamia, the owner of Romani Ranch, had Romani's mask. Duh! Duh! <laughs> All right, let's do in the. Uh, uh, actually, I do believe I don't have to check those at all. I think those uh, um, those gossip stones all throughout these sub dungeons here are actually all just like hints as to where the masks are located in their general place. But you don't actually get any idea as to where they are from them. So I think I'm. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh! I took too long there. I couldn't get in the flower. <laughs> So yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna go through all the gossip stones because they are really time-consuming. If you don't mind, if you don't mind. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's just go right on ahead until we get to said exit. Well, actually, not the exit. We're going to. We're gonna go to the heart piece first, and then an exit. Yeah, I said heart piece. Remember, we still got four heart pieces to get. Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, there's uh, one in each of these sub dungeons. Yup, yup, yup. Can I reach that from here? Yeah, of course I can. There we go. There's a heart piece. Voila, it's beautiful, it's shiny, it's awesome, and there's three more to get in the entire game. I think I can get over to uh, that one from here. Uh, maybe, wait, 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 maybe not. <laughs> abort, abort! Okay, let's try going over to the moving platform instead. Uh, yeah, that other one just seemed like it was way, way too far away. Um, I want to get in that yellow one more than anything, really, because, you know, it's got that extra boost. There we go. Oh, I, I nailed it that time. Okay, as soon as it turns around, there we go. And we're off. And we're in. <laughs> That's the end of Sub Dungeon 1. Told you they're really quick. He's like, oh, that mask. Take it off. Oh, really? Really? Okay, fine. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. Okay, here, here's another one. How's it going? Hey, thanks, you're nice. Um, can I ask a question? Your friends, what kind of people are they? I wonder, do those people think of you as a friend? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I wonder who these kids are, anyway. So now we go and get Poop back out over here. We already did the old Dalwa side here, so... We are good to go in that regard, but there's still, you know, still three other ones that are running around the tree here, and I'm getting a little dizzy here. Oh, that's the fish. No, I'm doing that one. 
Uh, actually, maybe I should do the Goron one last. Uh, yeah, I'll do this one next. Hey, how's it going? Nice weather. Yes, yes, yes. I have a lot. I do have a... I would like to be a mass salesman because, you know, because, you know, why not? <laughs> I'll do that, I'll do that, and I'll do that. I don't need any of the masks. See, more, more masks. Don't worry about losing masks or anything like that. When you reset time, uh, you'll get all the masks back and whatnot, so... Yeah, they all got the same dialogue, basically, until you get over to that last room, so I can pretty much click through the dialogue. Alright, so this is the Zora way. Uh, I should say Zora water way. And, uh, this is kind of take yourself out, but we, we don't want to do that. We want to go and head down into it. Now, this is different in the 3DS version than it is on the N64 version, but what I'm going to do to get the heart piece first is I'm going to take a right, and then I'm going to keep taking lefts. Got it? Got it? Good. It should be as simple as possible by just keep going left, 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 left from that one right, if I recall correctly. Uh, is that correct? Is that correct? Yeah, of course that was correct. And then instead of going left at that last junction, we want to go to the right to reach the Skull Kid. I mean, not, not the Skull, not the skull Kid! <laughs> that, that kid! So yeah, we want to go through here. This will poop us back over at the beginning. Now, if you were to take a different route, like if you take the wrong route, you'll come across some of those gossip stones that tell you, hey, yeah, yeah, this is how you get this particular mask at, I mean, you get this particular mask at this place, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, we already got all the masks, so whatever with that. I'm just going to take the right here now. I think this is going to lead me over to the correct place now, is that right? Uh, yeah, there we go. That mask, take it off. You and wanting to see my human form, I swear. Okay, let's give him that, let's give him that, let's give him that. <laughs> Who found me? Hey, I want more masks. Uh, oh, wait, oh shoot, that's... No, I'm not. I want to... want to take this... Here you go, you can have this one. <laughs> more... Here you go. More... Here's another one! Thanks, you're nice. Um, can I ask a question? The right thing. What is it? I wonder, if you do the right thing, does it really make everybody happy? Maybe, maybe. It does, really. <laughs> um, okay, maybe we should... Well, actually, I don't need to get stuff out just yet. I, well, I mean, I probably should just get a couple of them out of here. There we go, that's good enough. Now I'm gonna look for, um... The twin mold one, wherever that one might be hanging around the tree. We'll, we'll be able to see it here eventually, I'm sure. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, hey, you. Hey, you. Are you the twin mold? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, you're the twin mold. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to tell at the side for some reason. Ah, oh, nice weather, isn't it? Probably because of that blurry effect. Alright. Let's give him the masks. Here you go. How you like that? By the way, they won't take the transformation masks. Nor would you want to give them the transformation masks anyway. You're gonna kind of need them. Wow, you want more of that? Wow, holy poopers. Holy poopers. Holy poopers. Here you go. I'm giving him basically the most useless masks, basically. Hide and seek. Let's go. Of course. Alright, now this one. I forgot what this one is like offhand. I'll probably remember it. Uh, when I get into it, let's see here. Yeah, don't want to use the, uh, wow. <laughs> Do not want to use the, uh, light of returning of sorts. I'm just going to take a peek, see is to see what's in these. Do I need, like, the lens of truth or something in here? I kind of forgot. Well, we're going to see! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh. Oh, no, don't tell me it's another boss rush. Please, no. Please, no. Dear God, no. 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 Can I, like, kill you faster with this? Oh, one hit! <laughs> I told you that thing is powerful. <laughs> I don't really care about the drops, they're not gonna help me. Alright, let's just keep using this sword, because why not then, I guess? Uh, oh! It's the Garo Master. Oh, I'm too close to him. <laughs> I just want to get far enough away so I can dodge his... There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to use that sword. I just kind of instinctively hit the B button. 
Yes. <laughs> and dodge and attack. Ooh, you got a lot of health for this sword. And Dynalo Fos is uh, kind of embarrassing in uh, comparison to you. <laughs> Alright. So I guess, yeah, it is a boss rush. <laughs> of course. <laughs> because why wouldn't it be a boss rush? Uh, third boss rush of the game. Oops, not not close. Uh, I'm not far enough away to be able to actually aim at it. Oops, I was facing the other way. But it doesn't mean anything, I guess. This is going to contain arrows. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, geez. <laughs> uh, what you got? Uh oh, iron knuckle. Actually, I should be using this. <laughs> ah! Hey. How would I do this? Oh yeah, how you like those apples? See, you can use the A button, but you can't use the B button on that guy without switching your without switching your sword. And yeah. Oh jeez. Aha! <laughs> oh. uh -huh. Take that, you monst oh, you monstrosity. <laughs> there we go. I'll be able to recover some health as I go. It doesn't really matter that much. Maybe I should have brought in some fairies. I don't know. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Especially since the uh, bosses are so easy. Alright, what's in here? I do believe it's another item of uh, collectability uh, bomb chews. Okay, now to get out of here, I think there is some trick to it. Um, uh, hold on a sec, I just want to see here. Uh, did I have to bomb chew? <laughs> Maybe that was the hint? But I don't think that, because you can run out of bomb chews. I'm going to put this on here and take a look-see around the room here uh, um oh maybe you just you maybe you do have to bomb chew yeah, I'll just just I'll just try blasting that wall there mm, oh. really <laughs> uh, let's go around the other way and see if I can time this a little bit better here see if I can get this to explode when it hits the other side wall uh, I may have to be a little bit closer just offset the timing a little bit here, there we go. Let's watch it carefully to see what it'll do. Uh, oh, that'll do. Okay, so that was the trick. So what do you do if you run out of... bomb chews? Like, you just have to leave? <laughs> I guess maybe you do. Alright, let's just hit the arrow here, I mean, yeah, shoot the eye with the arrow, and there we go. More Mask of Truth uh, statues there, I should say, uh, um, ah, I, 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 I can't speak. I can't speak. You know what they are. <laughs> Last room here has got a little heart piece. Oh, yeah. But we're not done. I actually got to take a look, see here. Um, um, uh, maybe for once the, uh, the, uh, yeah, you, the mystical stone owner. Nope, you're just going to tell me about the masks. Okay. Uh, back to this, then. Hmm, how do I finish this one off? I have forgotten. Do I just touch the door? Nah, I didn't think so. <laughs> how about any sort of hidden walls? Hmm. 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 Mysterious. Mysterious indeed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, seriously, how do I get through that? Hmm, what if I go back? just want to see here really quick, because I know I have to go through that door. I just want to see if I missed something in the previous rooms, because I don't remember how I'm supposed to do this here. Hmm. <laughs> oh, on the ceiling! Okay. <laughs> I don't know how I missed that, but okay. Alright, so if I wanted to blow up on the ceiling, I probably need to stand pretty far away from the wall when I first release it. And I'm gonna watch it here. And explode it. Now, go, 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 explode! Ah, man. Okay, I'll just wait a little bit before I release it here. I'll hold it up, drop it, and watch it. It should do, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I don't know how I miss. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. So I guess you probably should come in here with bomb shoes. If oh, why did I go with the ice arrows? 
I guess it doesn't matter that much. I don't think I'm gonna use all the arrows in the world here. And notice that I am back up to full health. Yeah, that's the the powers of the heart pieces. That's why I said it doesn't really matter if I lose health on stuff because I'm just gonna end up getting it back when I grab a heart piece. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? You found me. Hey, yeah, I want more masks. How about this one? You like the Keaton mask? More. More. Always with the mores. Amore. Alright, here you go. <laughs> How many more? How many more? How many more do you need? No! No! Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> um, I guess question. Your true face. What kind of face is it? I wonder. The face under the mask. Is that your true face? That's a little disturbing if you think about it, because, you know, if you talk to him with a mask on, he tell you to take the mask off, and then, since you don't have a mask on, he asks if you're wearing a mask. Yeah, um... Yeah, let's not think about that too much and get some more masks out here. Okay, so there's one more left, and it's going to be the goat one. The reason why I did, I'm did i doing the goat one last is because it's probably going to be the most annoying. <laughs> but we'll see, I guess. Are you goat? Are you the goat of legend? Hey, 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 you, 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 you. Hey, you have to be, because there's no other ones, right? Right? Ah, nice weather, isn't it? Masks, you have a lot too. Will you be a mask salesman? Sure. Here, you can have this as I won't need it. More. You're like, why am I giving all these masks away? What is what is this craziness? Why are you doing this, PK Gamp? You'll find out. <laughs> You'll find out after I do this one, actually. Alright. <clears throat> Goron ma oh, Goron mask, I say. And I guess I can yeah. This is for magic, because you're going to need a lot of it. Probably. <laughs> oh yeah, it's these things. <laughs> Best of luck! Woo! We gotta find our way to the- Oh! Really? <laughs> We've gotta find our way to the end of this. Um, but don't go into any rooms, you just want to go over to a heart piece. So, don't go into any rooms until you find that- Well, actually, I guess you could go into a room before you find the heart piece. Use the open treasure chest to uh, bounce yourself around. Look at that, isn't that magical? Look at that. And those are bounce panels, by the way, if you should land on them, so you'll just kind of bounce directly off, not a big deal or anything like that. Um, I think, oh shoot, I, wa I was gonna say, I think I wanna go over to the right. Uh, well, ah, uh, well. <laughs> uh, all right, we're gonna try it again. This is why it's gonna take me the longest for the Goron room. Oh! Myself enough room. I didn't know. <laughs> Why must you be like this game? Why? I was doing so well. So well. <laughs> Alright, bouncy, wee, bouncy, wee, and wee. And just it's just like a routine more than anything of just looking on ahead and uh, by the way, our goal is actually that icy area over there. Uh, okay, now I wanna stop here. Because uh, I don't think that I want to go that way just yet. I think I want to go up over here. Still ignoring that. Um, yeah, that leads to the icy area. Uh, wait. wait. I thought this was a bounce panel. Or Oh. Oh, no. Oh. I was wrong about them being bounce panels. Completely and utterly wrong. <laughs> I could have swore that there was like a a fail-safe in the way of those panels, but I don't know why I thought that they were bounce... Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> oh, that was actually... Oh, it's good that I went through this twice, actually, because I just seen that spot up there. That was indeed the place that I wanted to go to first. Because um, I seen a heart piece over there, so I'm gonna go and loop around here. Uh, let's see... That is the heart piece, right? Yeah, that's the... Yeah, there it is. Okay. So to get over there, I need to get around that perimeter, I do believe. So let's go around this way now. And hopsy doodle. Whee! Oh wait, this is... Oh shoot. That just led me back to the beginning. Ah! This one is like the worst maze in the world. <laughs> oh shoot, I didn't 
didn't start my roll before I press forward. There we go. And... Alright, how does this work here? How... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I bounced off at a weird angle there for some reason. No big deal. It's not that long of a room to get back to where you were, I guess. <laughs> and it's not costing me any health or anything like that either, so... Big whoop, I guess, if I should fall into the hole. It's just time more than anything, but... As you can tell, the uh, clock is gone at the bottom portion of the screen there. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't it? I know! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try going around... Um... I don't think I want to go that way. Uh... Because, yeah, no, that little... I want to go that... I think. Because, yeah, that icy area... Well, actually, if I go inside that icy area, I'll be able to get myself a checkpoint of sorts. Because if I should fall, I think I'll automatically be transported back to that door, if I recall correctly. So I think I'm going to do that really quick here. Okay, so I'm going to go in. Yeah, there's the kid. <laughs> I don't care right now, I just want a checkpoint. I can use the ice to charge up. And I can go across. Okay, now... What do I do from here? Oh, I fall off, that's what I do. What do I do from here? Because I think that I used this as a checkpoint before when I did this. Just for the sake of convenience. Uh, don't go into the warp panel, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so that leads me back around. Like, did I want to do... Because I, I don't think I have enough running room to actually... No, I don't have enough running room to do that jump. Huh, unless I'm just supposed to do this all in one straight run. Which I guess would be possible. And... <laughs> yeah, I guess it's possible. I just kind of forgot how to do this one. Oh, jeez! That's why I'm kind of kind of befuddled as to what I'm supposed to do here. That was where the Skull Kid was. Bounce off these, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe go up and over. There we go! That's correct! All right. Ah! It's done! Every single heart container is complete, and now I can fall off. <laughs> <laughs> I got myself a checkpoint, so I can just go right and do that, and look at that, I'm back by the Skull Kid. But why do I keep saying Skull Kid? It's not the Skull Kid. It's... <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Okay. So... There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Of course you would want more masks. More. And here's my last mask. Thanks, you're nice. Um, can I ask a question? You, what makes you happy? I wonder, what makes you happy? Does it make others happy too? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> and... And... So, what, what do we get out of this? Well, it seems like we just emptied out our masks, but we actually did get something out of this. If we talk to the, uh... One wearing Majora's mask underneath the tree. But let's let's not do that this part. Let's just take a break here and do it in the next part. Okay? Okay. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then. Just enjoy this relaxing area. Because it's probably the last time you'll see it based on how I'm going to cut. <laughs>